Hi, I'm Pastor Kimmy. Whether this is your first time with us or you're a regular attender, welcome. We're glad you're here and we'd love to connect with you. So please take a moment and fill out your connection card with as much information as you feel comfortable sharing. Please write legibly as this helps our team to connect with you. On the back of this card is a prayer request form. If you have a prayer request, let us know. Simply drop it in the offering baskets as they go by. Also, we have a gift for you, a book entitled, Since Nobody's Perfect, How Good is Good Enough? Pick up your copy at the Welcome Center on your way out. This Sunday night, we have Gravitas, Harvest Time's Young Adult Ministry. If you're in your 20s or 30s, make sure to join us for this time of worship and fellowship at 7.30 p.m. in the sanctuary. Monday is Divorce Care. If you or someone you know is experiencing separation or divorce, this is a place of healing and restoration. We are also offering Divorce Care for Kids. Monday evening at 7 p.m. is a time of healing for the whole family. Tuesday night at 7 p.m. is Pathway, our small group journey to freedom in Christ, addressing all types of hurts, habits, and hang-ups. Wednesday night is Family Life Night. We have Building a Strong Foundation, a Bible study designed to help new believers and those who want to make sure they're building well with the Lord. We meet in the missions room downstairs. We also have In the Beginning, a verse-by-verse -verse study of the book of Genesis. Explore the beginning of everything and learn how God wants to bless you today. We meet at Sacred Heart School on King Street. Harvest Time Student Ministries will meet in the sanctuary for all of our 7th through 12th grade students. And for our children, we have Royal Rangers and Missionettes on the lower level. We offer nursery care as well. Friday morning at 10.30 a.m. is Prime Time, our ministry for those 60 and older. Join us in the sanctuary for Bible study, worship, and prayer. Friday evening at 7 o'clock is Messiah Says. We'll be celebrating Hanukkah and hearing a testimony from Harvest Time Zone, Susan Torgrosa. It will be a great night to invite a friend. We hope to see you there. This Saturday at 9 o'clock a.m. is the last ladies' breakfast of 2015. We'll be having a potluck Christmas party. Please sign up at the Welcome Center to let us know what delicious dish you're planning to bring. Hi, I'm Jonathan Naylor reporting to you live for Phase 2 Harvest Time News. We've moved in the building process from digging and pouring a solid foundation to the actual steel construction part of our project. And we have with us Mr. Mike Brickley, the steel construction manager, and he'll be updating us on our progress. Mike, can you tell us, can you give us a big picture explanation of where we are in the building process as far as the erection of, of the steel structure. Right now we're just finishing up the first floor. Um, we're getting ready to install decking, which will be the actual first floor, and we're waiting to go up vertical. All right, very good. I think everyone who's come in the parking lot has seen the obvious progress we've been making. Uh, Mike, I, I just had a question. How is it that you uh, keep everything uh, so straight and square. And uh, I wonder if you could just talk a little bit about that process. Well, I, uh, Jonathan, that all starts early on in the modeling phase, which is basically the design build. Um, a good foundation is gonna lead to good steel. Um, a little bit of time spent in the office, getting the pieces correct. And, and then from there on out, it just kind of fits together. Mike, can you tell us where the steel was made and where it was uh, cut and shaped into the pieces we see uh, being used? Well, the steel comes from all over the world. A lot of it's from uh, North America, United States primarily, Belgium, various steel mills and suppliers. Um, then it's brought into our facility where we shape, cut, punch, and deliver to the site. And where is your facility? Uh, Milford, Connecticut. Okay, so you're a local guy. Uh, lo sort of local. Mike, uh, tell us, if you can, how tall is the tallest uh, piece of steel, and how heavy is the heaviest piece of steel? Well, as of right now, 
the tallest columns would be the columns that are going to hold the mega truss, which are approximately 57 feet tall and weigh 13 to 15,000 pounds each. Indeed. Okay, we have a solid building, I see. Yeah. So as we go vertical, uh, the mega truss itself is approximately 70,000 pounds, and that spans the entire length of the building. is a is 12 feet tall and 135 feet long. That's appropriately named a mega truss. I call it the mega truss. There's been bigger, but for right now, this is the one. Very good. Mike, I noticed that the large crane is only here uh, some days and not others. Uh, can you tell us why? Uh, well, the crane is here to put the pieces in place. And then there's various aspects, bolting, guying, plumbing, that we're not, we don't need the crane. Um, and it's expensive, too. <laughs> so we, we don't want it here. Oh, I see. So he's on another, he's on another job then. The crane is on another job right now. I see. Uh, but he is expensive. I see. So we only use him when we need him. Very correct. That's economical. <laughs> Mike, we are approaching the colder months. Will you be able to continue to work uh, during the winter months? Well, obviously, the weather um, can impact the schedule. Um, as long as there's not a lot of snow on the ground and it's not too heavy of rain, we will be here. Mm -hmm. The men can always put another sweatshirt on. Um, but clearly... We are entering that season, but we'll do the best that we can to be here whenever we can. You uh, steel workers have a reputation of being tough, so I think that will stand you in good stead uh, during this winter. I work in the office. You do? <laughs> so typically on those really cold days, I'll be at the office. Gotcha. Smart, too. Okay. Mike, do you have any idea when the roof will be going on this structure? I'm going to say after the first of the year, um, sometime in January, we should be up to the point where we'll be working on the roof structure. Excellent. Excellent. So we have uh, lots to look forward to. Thank you so much, Mike. Well, that's a wrap. This is Jonathan Naylor signing off for Phase 2 Harvest Time News. That was clear. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by our Welcome Center and pick up some information or visit our website at htchurch.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all our church updates. That's all for this week's news. God bless and have a great day.